back in 2021, August, the lockdown restrictions stopped and I was 18 at the time and I started going out and going out and going out and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. And it's quite fun. You're around this environment, you're around all these people, they feel like your friends. But when I didn't have the alcohol or whatever, we weren't really that much of friends, if that makes sense. And it was a nice time because it boosted my confidence and it felt good. 19 was similar as well. I went out a little bit. I went out probably eight, nine times that year. I had good times. This past year, I've went out a little bit, not too much. But now I only go out every once or twice, maybe a month, maybe every two months. Like I'm going out this weekend, but normally I don't go out much. And I just want to speak about why that is on an overall sense, because a lot of people who are 21 or 18 going up to 21, or even as they get a bit older, they stay in these places and they go to these places all the time. And they can kind of lose themselves in these places because it takes a lot out of you. On a real level, it's fun as fuck being around these people. It's fun, you're around women, you're around all this music and all that, and then a lot of them want to get with you or whatever. You can just go up to them and get with them with ease, probably you just speak to them quickly and then I've done it before, you just speak to them and then you can literally start getting with them. And it isn't that hard, in that hard, it's one of these environments, it feels amazing, no attention, attention, if you you literally go up to them and sometimes you have them come up to you and you put improvement in yourself. And it's one of these places that you can kind of enjoy too much and stay in, if that makes sense. It's also a lot of money as well, but on a real level, I know a lot of people who stay in these places and I know a lot of people who go there every week, every week, every week, twice a week. And the money that they have just goes down and goes down and goes down. Their health goes down, goes down, goes down. You can say you're young, you're young. But if you're drinking loads and loads and loads, you're never going to achieve how you want to look. You're never going to be able to get into a position really on a real level that you want to get to. If it's something that takes sacrifice, let's say it's just a nine to five job or whatever, you can consistently just go to that and go out on the weekends, of course. But let's say you want to achieve something different and you've got to put more time in, put in a different type of effort, that's going to take a bit more time and a bit more consistency, if that makes sense. And I just found myself before getting lost in these spaces to the point I couldn't wait to go out. And my life was going down, if that makes sense. I wasn't doing the right stuff on an overall sense for me, if that makes sense. And I was kind of acting a little bit not like myself, not like my true self. And I'll just go out and go out and go out and kind of drink away my sorrows and drink away myself. And then, oh, a girl might like me. Oh, so I got, I feel good. I feel good. Oh, I got some attention. Oh, yes, yes. And it's like one of these things, man, it, you can get stuck in these spaces. And I know a lot of people have been stuck in these spaces. And it's all right to go out every now and again. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying to go out every now and again. Like, it's good to go out every now and again. Like, I'm going to do literally this weekend. I'm going to go out. And let's say before that, when I was in Spain, I went out because I was on holiday. And then before that, I only went out like once that month. And then before that, it's like once the month that, that time as well. And on a real level, you can kind of get stuck in these spaces. And I don't want that for you lot who are growing up and who are around 18, 21, however old you are, to get stuck in these spaces. Because you see a lot of people who can get stuck in these spaces and they never truly break out of them. And they kind of just get addicted to that lifestyle. And then before you know it, you're doing drugs. Before you know it, you're just staying in them places. Before you know it, you're only living for the weekend. You're not living for the overall perspective of your life. And a lot of people get into that and I didn't truly want to be in that place. And on a real level, I enjoy being healthy. I enjoy going to the gym and all this stuff. I feel amazing when I'm like that and I feel sober. And I don't really like getting hung over as well on a real level. Because when I'm drunk, I just feel blurred and in the greatest, you know. Even though I do have fun now, I do have fun. But on a real level, it isn't overall worth it on an overall perspective for me. Let's say you go out once a week. You could easily spend hundreds of pounds, man. You could easily spend hundreds of pounds. If you put drugs in the equation, which a lot of people do, you're easily spending like 100, 200 pounds. Drinks, Ubers, food, easily, you know? And it's not good on a real perspective for you as a person. And it's not gonna truly help you. And I feel like you can go to these places for a bit and then you get a sense of idea of how they are. And I'm not saying don't experience these places because you need to kind of experience them in a sense, you do. You need to experience them. But what I am not what I am saying is don't get caught up in these bases. Don't get caught up and don't just consistently go all the time and kind of lose yourself. It's easy to lose yourself. It's easy to fuck up one night. You get with a random girl, you have a kid coming. And this isn't even a joke. Like you know what I mean? It's easy it's easy for that to happen. It's very easy for that to happen and I know people who that's happened to. And I'm just happy that I, I don't get to them places too much. I go for that for a bit every now and again, but I enjoy it as well. Like I enjoy dancing and all this stuff it's kind of different in my city though because you don't really have much room to dance like in these bases because they're so packed but like when i was in spain i was enjoying it i was just dancing and all this stuff we we're just messing about and all this lovely time a lovely time but you can get caught in these places and stay in these spaces and before you know it you've wasted a lot of money and you've wasted a lot of time and your health's not in the best position 
you don't look as good, you don't feel as good, you're not as healthy, your body feels it, you feel it. Every day you feel long over the next day and you just feel like, why did I drink so much? But then the next week comes and then you do it again. The next week comes, you do it again, you do it again because there's women there, oh, my mates wanna go out and it's fun. It's fun, but you just can't do it all the time. It's hard to do it all the time and it ain't really worth it in a real sense because you can kind of lose yourself. And what I found is you kind of lose yourself and you lose that ability to almost connect with people in the same way I found on a real level. You lose that ability to kind of like, like women the same way and stuff because you see what they're doing in these places. And this goes for men as well. If you're into men, you probably have the same perspective, but you kind of lose that love for these people because it's so, what's the word, like, so free and just no care for it, all the stuff that's happening, all the sexual shit and that. And I've been there and I've done that, but now I've got a different mindset on it. And I'm kind of lucky in that perspective because I was kind of quick in these places to get stuff like that, where other people, they go there all the time and they barely ever get it. And I'm happy in that perspective from real level, but that also came from me getting in shape as well. So there's a correlation in that way. Cause height, of course I've got a bit of height, but on a real level that can, that can, like getting in shape makes the biggest difference and your confidence and stuff. So that's what made the biggest difference. But on a real level, you don't want to stay in these places too long. You don't want to stay in these places and lose yourself and lose loads of money. Let's say you spend, let's say, let's say you have a decent night, not nothing too expensive. Let's say 50 pound, 50 pound, roughly the drinks are around five pound a pint. Let's say, let's say you want double vodka's eight quid. You go to these places, you go to these places, you go to these places, and then you spend that each week. Now you've got 200 pound each month going into that, going into that. In a year, that's 2.4K. And then you're gonna think, fuck's sake, I spent 2.4K on just getting drunk and being around women that I don't actually want a real relationship with. Like, I know I'm not really gonna get that relationship that I want with, if that makes sense. And then you're gonna feel like, oh, I wasted that. And you might even be in even more trouble. You might get in situations, fights and all this stuff. Like it's an environment where you're gonna get, where fights and stuff happen. Of course, I've never been in that one cause of me, but of course, these situations happen. Like I've seen it first time. I've been in a slight thing, but that wasn't because of me. So on a real level, it's one of these things that you stay in these places too long, you're gonna kind of, you're gonna lose yourself. If you do it every now and again, it's all right, but just don't do it too much, that makes sense. And this is a real message for the younger people. Once you go there and you understand that you're gonna get attention sometimes and you're gonna be around women and all this stuff. But after a while, you get to a point where you think these women aren't the women for me. These women aren't the course that I want on a long-term perspective, maybe one night perspective, but not a long-term perspective. And that's a real level. That's, a, that's the truth of this stuff. And I can say this stuff because there's 99% male on it. There's 1% female somehow. I don't, I don't even know how any females watch this, to be honest. But on a real level, I can say that because that's what happens. That's what happens. You kind of empty your soul into someone else and you think, why did I do that? A few weeks after you think, oh shit, I don't even speak to her now. What the fuck? And then they're probably back in the club, get with someone. And you could be in that, back in that club and get with someone else. And you understand that these places aren't for, they're not gonna be overall good for your, your mind and your soul, if that makes sense. It'd be good short term, your ego boost. Like I found ego boost, oh, I feel amazing. I feel like I'm attracted, but on a real level, they're drunk as well. Like, you know what I mean? They could be on drugs as well. And they could be just attracted to you, just for any person, you know what I mean? And it's one of these places that you can kind of lose yourself in. But I'm not saying don't go out. What I'm saying is just don't do it too much and lose yourself in these places because it's easy to do. I know people who's there all the time, all the time. I guarantee they're on drugs all the time. And I don't know how fulfilled they feel on a real level. I don't know how fulfilled they're feeling themselves. And it, that's the reality of this stuff, you know? The amount of money they would have spent, the amount of time they would have spent, and then they're, they're not grateful and happy, you know? They might be happy on a real level, but in a few years time, they're gonna look back and think, fuck's sake, I spent so much money in that place. <laughs> you know what I mean? In these places, and they're expensive. They're expensive as well. So what I'm gonna say is go every now and again, like I do. I go every now and again, like once this month, I think. If I'm gonna go and out once this month, I think, and then every now and again, go to these places. Like it's it's not bad to go to these places every now and again. And every now and again, but just don't get caught up in these places. Stay in these places. Stay in these places. Lose yourself. Get with a random woman. Have a kid, and then you got to deal with the kid. You know what I mean? Don't get into that cycle on a real level because this sounds a bit like jokey in a sense, but on a real level, it can happen, you know? It can happen. And I know people that it's happened to. You have one one night stand with a woman, suddenly you have a kid, you know what I mean? You forget to wear a condom because you're drunk, you have a kid coming. And then you think, fuck's sake, now I've got to deal with this and myself. I haven't even grown up myself. 
and then you're in this position where it's tough and it's hard to get out of that and i don't want that for you lot you know i don't want that for you lot what i want is for you lot to experience the best life you can and be as grateful and happy for yourself as you can and they're good for us they're good for every now and again these places maybe to boost your confidence a bit let's say you you haven't had any attention for a while you go out you get some attention that might be good for you but on a real level you're not going to meet any long-term partners really there if that makes sense or any long-term partners that's compatible with you really in that sense and i know some people say they have but from my experience i haven't truly felt that every girl i've seen in these spaces it hasn't lasted that long you know if that makes sense but when i meet them in a real way real organic way where you're both sober it lasts a lot longer if that makes sense and that's the overall message in this video hope you've got a lot of value like comment and subscribe thank you